I just got back from the store and I want to talk about how to save money on pet supplies in 2024. Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Sammy, Richard, Nancy, Goldie, Ziggy, Ringo, Eva, Hydrox, and Ditto, the Lucky Pharaohs. This is my first cat supply haul of 2024 and I did really good today. I bought four bags of cat litter and these bags were $11.99 each. And these four bags will definitely last me a week, possibly even two weeks. And that's because I have nine litter boxes in my house. I have 11 cats and these will be used for topping up the litter boxes. You know, as I scoop some of the litter out, I'll be topping them up with this litter. Now, the first tip that I have is to know your prices in every pet store near you. So I have quite a few pet stores near me. I have major names like PetSmart and Petco. And then I also have smaller mom and pop pet shops. And there is a local chain that has three or four locations. And that's where I went today. And the reason why I went there is because I feel that they have the best prices on this Dr. Elsie's Ultra Litter. They also have the most cat litter in stock. And for me, that's really, really important because if I go to PetSmart or Petco to try to buy this cat litter, they don't have it in bags. They only have it in boxes. Boxes are a little bit more expensive because you do get a few more pounds of cat litter in the box versus the bag, but they never have enough in stock. Like I'm lucky if they have two or three in stock it's rare that I see four of them in stock, but because I know this store carries this product and I know what their inventory levels are, I can go there and pretty much just buy as many bags of the cat litter as I need. If I need six bags, I could get six bags. If I need 10 bags, I could get 10 bags. And that's a product that I'm not going to order on Amazon because in the past when I have gotten this cat litter delivered, the boxes were like 40 pounds minimum and nobody was happy. The delivery people were not happy. If it came through the post office, the post office people were not happy. And I'm not happy because that's a super, super heavy box and it's just so much easier to actually purchase cat litter at a local store. So the first tip is know what products your local stores carry and know what their prices are because the prices are not the same in all the different stores. So know who has the best deals. The second tip that I have is to use coupons. So one of the reasons why I like going to this local chain of stores that I go to is because they always have a monthly coupon. And this month's coupon was $10 off a $50 purchase. So that's basically 20% off of a $50 purchase, which is a good deal. So definitely look for coupons. If you could get coupons on whatever kind of food or pet supplies that you purchase, definitely get the coupons, use the coupons. And also if any of your local stores offer coupons, take advantage of those coupons. They just saved me $10 today. The next thing I'm gonna say is look for sales. Whenever I go to a pet store, I always look around for sales or a lot of times if I'm shopping online, I'll always look around for sales and try to utilize sales whenever I can. So today I got this bag of Instinct Raw Longevity Chicken Bites for the cats and this is normally $23.99 and it was $5 off, so I got it for $18.99, which is an excellent deal for this food. With sales tax, that came to $20.25 for this bag of food. It is 2.5 pounds, so if I divide that by 2.5 pounds, that means it's costing me $8.10 per pound of food for the cats. Now I normally make homemade raw cat food for my cats and that's way cheaper than buying this commercial raw food. However, what I've been doing recently is buying two bags of commercial raw food and they'll last me four to five meals for the cats. And what I'll do is I'll give that to them for breakfast just because it's more convenient and makes my morning go quicker. So if I calculate the price without the sale, it is $10.23 a pound. So my next tip is to definitely look for sales and utilize sales whenever you can. I also bought a bag of Stella and Chewies. These are their super beef patties, which are 95% beef, organ, and bone. And another reason why I've been purchasing some commercial raw food recently is to find out what the cats like and what they don't like as far as the commercial raw food. So if I do find myself in a situation where I'm not able to make my own homemade raw food, I know which varieties to purchase. So this week we are trying the Stella and Chewy's Super Beef. I hope they like it. But what I'm really 
happy about today is that I got this bag of Stella and Chewy's raw food completely free. So my next tip is look for rewards programs and utilize them. The store that I shopped at today has a rewards program for Stella and Chewy's frozen food and that is buy 12 bags, get one bag free. So over the course of last year, I guess, I had purchased 12 bags, and then when I went there today, the cashier said, oh, this bag is free. So that just saved me $26.99 on food. And if you add the sales tax on top of that, that saved me $28.78. So that's a great deal. That's a three pound bag, and that will cover two meals for the cats. So today, if I add up these two bags of commercial raw food, they cost me in total $20.25, and I got 5.5 pounds of food, so if I divide that by 5.5 pounds, that means I got commercial raw food for $3.68 a pound, which is phenomenal. I am very, very happy about that. And so this tip is to make sure you're signed up for rewards programs and make sure you use them. So without coupons, sales, and rewards, I would have spent $105.50 on these cat supplies today. Instead, by shopping sales with a coupon and rewards, I only spent $61.39. That's a savings of over $44, so I'm very happy about that. And my final tip for saving money on cat supplies in 2024 is to learn how to make your own cat food. Because another thing that I purchased today were these boneless chicken breasts. This is a 3.12 pound package of chicken breasts, and this will make two meals for the cats and this was $2.99 a pound. So what I do with these chicken breasts is I add organ meats. I'll add about six ounces of organ meats to these chicken breasts, and then I'll also add some ground chicken necks for their bone content. So I'll add about eight ounces of ground chicken necks. When I add those in along with some supplements, the cats have a complete meal. And this was $2.99 a pound, and the package was $9.33. And if we say the other ingredients cost another $3.50, let's say that, the total will be $12.83, and that'll make two meals for the cats. So I'll divide that by two, and that's $6.42 per meal, and that's for 11 cats. So if I divide $6.42 by 11 cats, that is 58 cents per meal per cat for homemade raw cat food. And the serving size is three ounces, so that would be like a three ounce can. There's no store that I know of that sells a healthy brand of cat food for 58 cents for a three ounce can. So my last tip is save money by learning how to make homemade cat food. Here's somebody. He says he's ready for breakfast. And I do have videos on this channel that explain how to do that. So I'll post the link to those videos in the description below this video and also in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.